Happy Easter, boys and girls. My name is Miss Heidi, and thank you so much for joining me as we celebrate the most important day of our whole church year. Today, we celebrate Jesus' resurrection. That's a big word. Can you say resurrection with me? Resurrection. Good job. The word resurrection means that Jesus has risen from the dead. By his death and resurrection, Jesus has opened up heaven to us. What an incredible gift. Do you remember what word we couldn't say during Lent, but that we can say now that it's Easter? Go ahead and tell me. Yes, good job. It's Alleluia. Let's say it together. Alleluia. Nicely done. We've entered a new church season today, too. Did you notice anything different on our prayer table today? Go ahead and tell me one thing. Thanks for sharing. Well, there's a white and gold cloth because white and sometimes gold are colors we use in the Catholic Church to celebrate the joy of Easter. This is a Paschal candle a candle that is lit at the Easter Vigil Mass and then kept lit throughout the season of Easter. It represents Christ, who is the light of the world. Now we're going to learn some signs for our gathering song. Let's learn how to sign the words new and life. First, let's try the word new. Put your hands down like this, then scoop your right hand up. Nicely done. Try again. Hands out. Scoop up. Well done. Now let's sign the word life. Make L's with both hands and then point them down and lift them up like this. Nice job. Okay, we're going to try something really tricky now. Let's put together new and life. So we're going to scoop and pull up. Excellent job, boys and girls. And last, let's remember how to sign the word Jesus. Put one finger in the middle of one hand and then switch. Good job. We'll use these signs in our gathering song, which is called New Life. Sing along with me. Jesus has given us new life. Jesus has given us new life. Just as he said, just as he said, Jesus is risen today. Just as he said, just as he said, Jesus is risen today. Jesus has given us new hope. Jesus has given us new hope. Just as he said, just as he said, Jesus is risen today. Just as he said, just as he said, Jesus is risen today. Jesus has given us a new start. Jesus has given us a new start. Just as he said, just as he said, Jesus is risen today. Just as he said, just as he said, Jesus is risen today. Jesus has given us a new heart. Jesus has given us a new heart. Just as he said, just as he said, Jesus is risen today. Just as he said, just as he said, Jesus is risen today. Jesus has given us new life. Jesus has given us new life. Just as he said, just as he said, Jesus is risen today. Just as he said, just as he said, Jesus is risen today. Thank you for singing so joyfully today, boys and girls. Let's look at our coloring page for Easter Sunday. What do you see? Yes, it's a tomb. Is Jesus inside? No, Jesus was not in the tomb. He had risen from the dead. 
In our gospel today, we'll hear how Jesus' disciples found out that he was no longer in the tomb. Let's light a candle to show that we are ready to hear God's word. In today's first reading, St. Peter shares the news that Jesus rose from the dead with a group of people. As we listen, let's pretend that we too are hearing the news of Jesus' resurrection for the very first time. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to Cornelius and his household, You surely know what happened everywhere in Judea. It all began in Galilee after John had told everyone to be baptized. God gave the Holy Spirit and power to Jesus from Nazareth. He was with Jesus as he went around doing good and healing everyone who was under the power of the devil. We all saw what Jesus did both in Israel and in the city of Jerusalem. Jesus was put to death on a cross, but three days later, God raised him to life and let him be seen. Not everyone saw him. He was seen only by us, who ate and drank with him after he was raised from the dead. We were the ones God chose to tell others about him. God told us to announce clearly to the people that Jesus is the one he has chosen to judge the living and the dead. Every one of the prophets has said that all who have faith in Jesus will have their sins forgiven in his name. The word of the Lord. And we say together, thanks be to God. Your turn. Thanks be to God. Good job. Boys and girls, do you think that everyone knew about Jesus rising from the dead right away? No. Long after Jesus rose from the dead, many people still hadn't heard about the story of Jesus' death and resurrection. But guess what? an angel came to a Roman soldier named Cornelius and told him to find St. Peter. He brought St. Peter back to his house to teach him more about Jesus. In today's reading, we heard St. Peter telling the story of Jesus' resurrection to Cornelius and his family. Cornelius and his family were very happy and excited to hear what Peter had to say. Do you think you'd be excited hearing about Jesus' resurrection for the first time? Yes, I'd be excited too. Let's remember to share the story of Jesus' death and resurrection with our family and friends too. Now it's time for the responsorial psalm, which is a song that we'll sing together. Our words today are, This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Sing this with me the second time when I raise my hand. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Tell the Lord how thankful you are because he is kind and always merciful. Let Israel shout, God is always merciful. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The Lord is powerful with his mighty arm. The Lord wins victories, and so my life is safe. And I will live to tell what the Lord has done. This is the 
day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone that the builders tossed aside has now become the most important stone. The Lord has done this, and it is amazing to us. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Did this psalm make you feel happy or sad? You're right, it makes us feel happy. We celebrate that God gave us the gift of His Son's resurrection, giving us the chance to live forever with Him in heaven. Let's be joyful and happy on this day we have waited for for so long, this beautiful Easter Sunday. Boys and girls, we get to sing Alleluia again as we get ready to hear the gospel. Sing Alleluia with me when I raise my hand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. We come to praise the glory of your name. Gather to hear the word. Today's gospel begins first thing in the morning on the Sunday after Jesus died. We'll hear what happened when Mary Magdalene and some other women went to visit where Jesus had been buried. In those days, people were put into caves after they died. Jesus' friends expected to find his dead body in the cave, but they were in for a big surprise. Let's listen. The Lord be with you, and we say together, and with your spirit, your turn, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, and we say together, glory to you, O Lord. May Jesus be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. On Sunday morning, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. She ran to Simon Peter and to Jesus' favorite disciple and said, They have taken the Lord from the tomb. We don't know where they have put him. Peter and the other disciples started for the tomb. They ran side by side until the other disciple ran faster than Peter and got there first. He bent over and saw the strips of linen cloth lying inside the tomb, but he did not go in. When Simon Peter got there, he went into the tomb and saw the strips of cloth. He also saw the piece of cloth that had been used to cover Jesus' face. It was rolled up and in a place by itself. The disciple who got there first then went into the tomb, and when he saw it, he believed. At that time, Peter and the other disciple did not know that the scriptures said Jesus would rise to life. The Gospel of the Lord. And we say together, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your turn. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well done. You may go ahead and sit down now, boys and girls. So we just heard that Mary Magdalene went to the tomb where Jesus had been buried three days before. What did she see when she got there? Go ahead and tell me. Well, she saw that the stone had been rolled away and the tomb had been opened. How do you think she felt? 
probably very surprised and worried because she didn't know where Jesus' body had been taken. So she ran to get Peter and John, two of Jesus' close friends, and told them that Jesus' body was not in the tomb. Peter and John raced to the tomb to investigate. John got there first. He must have run a little faster than Peter. When John looked inside, he only saw the burial cloths. Do you know what burial cloths are, boys and girls? Well, they were pieces of fabric or cloth that covered the body of a dead person laid in a tomb. But Jesus' body was not inside of the burial cloths. Peter arrived and went inside the tomb, and John came in too. Do you think they were both shocked and surprised? Yes, they were. The reading then says that John saw and believed. But wait, what does that mean that John saw and believed? No one understood that Jesus had risen yet. But for now, John knew that something wonderful had happened. We'll hear next week how Jesus came back to visit his friends, and it was really him raised from the dead. As we celebrate this joyful Easter Sunday, we remember the glory of Jesus' resurrection. He wasn't in the tomb anymore. He was gloriously alive and filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Thanks to Jesus' death and resurrection, we know that we also have new life in Christ. If we follow Jesus throughout our whole lives, we too can be raised to new life and live forever with the risen Christ in heaven. Let's say, Jesus, thank you for giving us new life. Your turn. Jesus, Thank you for giving us new life. Well done. Let's sing a song to help us profess our faith, which means to say what we believe in. Today, because it's Easter Sunday, you'll be able to sing with John Verland and children from all over the world. Sing along with us. Do you believe in God the Father? Yes, yes Lord, I, I believe. Who made the earth and all we see? Yes, yes Lord, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Yes, Lord, Lord I, I believe. believe. Conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit? Yes, yes Lord, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe. I do believe. Do you believe that Jesus died? Yes, Lord, I believe. He died for us so we could live. Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe he rose again? Yes, Lord, I believe. He's seated now at God's right hand. Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? Yes, Lord, I believe. The Catholic Church and communion of saints? Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in God's forgiveness? Yes, Lord, I believe. That we will rise to life again? Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe. I do believe. This is 
our faith, which we profess. Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that my Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe. I do believe. I believe. I do believe. Now it's time for the prayer of the faithful, where we bring our prayers to God. Boys and girls, if we believe all these things that we just sang about, we will live to see great wonders in this world and in heaven. Now let's show our faith in God's power by telling him our needs in prayer. After each petition, please sing, Lord, hear our prayer. For all church leaders, that the power of the risen Lord will make them good leaders and holy people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us in our parishes, that the power of the risen Lord will help us set our hearts on heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For all people who live in the darkness of sin, that the power of the risen Lord will raise them to the light. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the grace to see every human as a child of God, no matter their skin color, language, culture, or stage of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick and suffering, and for all doctors and nurses who take care of them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Now it is our turn to bring our prayers to God, either out loud or in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Mighty God, we know that you are always ready to help us with the same power that you used to raise your son Jesus from the dead. All praise and honor to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Can you say that? Amen. Good job. This ends today's Children's Liturgy, boys and girls. But don't worry, there's still more you can do now to proclaim the good news of Jesus. Use the link below to download the Jesus Lives coloring page. Thank you so much for sending in your lovely coloring pages to us each week. We'll show them at the end of this week or next week's episode. If your parents would like to share your weekly coloring pages or faith-based drawings, have them take a picture of your drawing and email it to kidsliturgy2020 at gmail.com by Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll show your artwork on an upcoming episode. To order the Digital Summer 2021 Children Celebrate program, including my 5-Minute Gospel Reflection and Saint in the Spotlight videos, or the 2020 to 2021 Sunday Missal for Young Catholics, visit BayardFaithResources.com. If your parish or school already uses Children Celebrate or Flom Gospel Weeklies, contact your parish to request that they share the videos with you. Now available for download, we have been blessed by the gift of John Berlin's lovely children's liturgy dismissal song, Go Now and Listen to God's Word. This beautiful call and response song is available for download at giamusic.com 
and sheet music is now available at BayardFaithResources.com. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for listening to God's Word with me today on this joyful Easter Sunday. We hope you'll join us next week, too, as we continue this new church season of Easter. Stay well, God bless you, and remember that Jesus loves you. Happy Easter. He is not here, the angels said. He has risen from the dead. You must go to Galilee instead. And tell the disciples he lives. The women took spices to the tomb and found the stone rolled away. The body of the Lord, it was not there. To men it wide appeared to them. He is not here, the angel said. He has risen from the dead. You must go to Galilee instead. And tell the disciples, he lives. Joanne Magdalene and Mary too ran to tell the disciples the good news. It was so difficult to believe Jesus who was dead now lives and breathes. He is not here, the angel said. He has risen from the dead. You must go to Galilee instead and tell the disciples They had gathered in the upper room In their sadness and fear Jesus did appear Peace to you, he said with love and care Now I will be with you everywhere He is not here, the angel said He has risen from the dead You must go to Galilee instead And tell the disciples he is not here, the angel said. He has risen from the dead. You must go to Galilee instead and tell the disciples he lives. And tell the disciples he lives.
by sharing the cup. His resurrection giving us eternal life. Thanks so much for joining us for today's episode of Children's Liturgy of the Word. If you enjoyed this program, consider making a one-time donation to our Indiegogo campaign so that we can continue this ministry for another year. Go to Indiegogo.com and search for Kids Liturgy to learn more. God bless you and your family, and Happy Easter. Jesus Christ risen today. Everybody sing hallelujah. Jesus Christ has risen today. Everybody sing hallelujah. Have you heard the news? Jesus has risen today. Well, he came to earth so that we might live. Everybody sing hallelujah. Well, he came to earth so that we might live. Everybody sing 